Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Weather Explained. Snow, sleet, and freezing rain. These are the three winter precipitation types that you're probably familiar with. But there is another type that's not as common that you may not be familiar with and it's called grapple. So what is grapple? Well, grapple actually starts out as snow. So that's the first ingredient you need. You need snow to be falling. But something special has to happen to this snow. It has to fall through a layer of super cooled water droplets. And this is the tough ingredient to get. It's tough to get a layer of these super cooled water droplets because first, we're talking about really small droplets. So a typical raindrop's about one to two millimeters in diameter. But these super cooled water droplets are only a couple hundredths of a millimeter in diameter because if they were too large, they'd be too heavy and they would be falling to the ground as rain. So in order to get a layer just hanging out in the atmosphere and not falling, they have to be really small. Also, we are talking about liquid water existing below 32 degrees, and that can happen if the droplets are small enough and the atmosphere is clear. If there are any particles of dust, of soot, of pollution in the atmosphere, these tiny little liquid water droplets, they're gonna freeze to those particles. So if the atmosphere is clear enough, and if the droplets are small enough, you get this layer of super cooled water droplets below 32 degrees just hanging out in the atmosphere. But they really want to freeze. So when the snowflakes fall through this layer, ah, the snowflakes are something those tiny little water droplets can freeze to. And that's exactly what happens. These tiny little water droplets freeze to the outside of the snowflakes in a process known as rhyming. And that changes the appearance of these snowflakes. And the end result are these tiny white pellets that when they're laying on the ground actually look like pea-sized hail because these tiny little white pellets are about the size of a pea and they're white laying on the ground. So it looks like pea-sized hail, but grapple is not hail because hail actually starts out as raindrops rather than snowflakes. And hail also only occurs in thunderstorms. So how can you tell the hail apart from the grapple? Well, the best way is actually just to pick it up. If you pick up a piece of pea-sized hail and you squeeze it between your fingers, it's not gonna be crushed very easily. It's pretty hard. But if you pick up a piece of grapple and squeeze it between your fingers, it's just gonna fall apart. It's just gonna crumble because it's really soft, like snow. In fact, another name for grapple is soft hail. So if it's small, white, and hard, it's hail. If it's small, white, and soft, it's grapple. So when grapple's laying on the ground, this is what it looks like. And really the best way to describe it, if you ask me, is dipping dots. <laughs> white pieces of dipping dots, these tiny white pellets of snow and ice. And where things get confusing is that grapple when it does occur, it often occurs along with sleet. And sleet in itself isn't very common. It's one of the tougher precipitation types to get, but it is more common than grapple. And remember that sleet also starts out as snow, but it's snow that has either partially or completely melted and then refrozen. So it's a different process. So the end result is different. It looks different and feels different. So while grapple is small, white, and soft, Sleet is clear, hard, and small. So again, you can pick up a piece of sleet and kind of like the hail and squeeze it. It's not going to fall apart very easily where the grapple will. But also the sleet is going to be clear while the grapple is going to be white. Also, there's a difference when it's falling. So when sleet is falling, it's probably going to bounce and make a little tapping sound. When the grapple falls, more like snow. It's not going to make any noise and it's not going to bounce. So the next time you see grapple laying on the ground, go ahead and snap a picture because it's not very common and it's something pretty cool to talk about. 